Yu-Gi-Oh locals, but every time I lose, I have to do a giveaway. Quite simple, we're just never gonna lose. <laughs> My chat's gonna get a giveaway. Are you gonna beat me? What the? <laughs> we'll see. Do I get something for beating me? No, not you. Only if you can bench 225. You bench 225? Then don't even talk to me. You can bet, you can 135? Yeah, that's, that's ugly. 185 at least. Don't even talk to me. If I lose today, I gotta do a giveaway. So do you guys think you're, you have what it takes to beat me? Another one. Another Alright guys, these guys are your guys' champions. So if any of them beat me, you guys do a giveaway. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned for the video, we'll see if they even take one single life point off me. I'm uh, dead ass, I'm not gonna take a single life point off it. We should change it every life point I lose, I do a giveaway. Cause I'm not losing a single life point, bro. So this is gonna be, yeah, you can watch, but you, I'm not losing. I'm entering with a CC card deck today, but I'm missing a bunch of cards. Oh, oh, yep, back in it. Yo, all these big stuff. Yeah. No? Other one, do you also have the link? Fold it will lead to your demise, are you sure? Wait, you're gonna lose three. But with sick hair like that, I don't know, I think you're gonna beat me. Alright, we're, we're gonna avoid it. He's gonna beat us. I hope I play you first time. You're getting 4 0 in the best of three. <laughs> you're playing trap tricks. Yeah, I hope I face you round one. That'll, that'll be fast. I could beat him and then go get a second slice of pizza. Local's a few minutes away from starting. Sadly, we are missing three cards that we need in our deck, but we're still going to be playing. We're going to be playing Kastira. If I was a virgin loser, instead, we're going to be playing Scareclaw, baby. 60 card Scareclaw. We're going to clap everyone. It's going to be fantastic. Adam Tafik! <laughs> Last time we played. I beat him. We'll see if it happens again. Reaper, you dodged a bullet, my friend. I really did, I'm not gonna lie. I really did. <laughs> it's time! Fighting out of Toronto, Canada, on the left side is Steven Pengard Kubanowski. And fighting out of the right side is his victim. Let's go, baby! I'm hype. Commentary's back. And that's right. Listen, Bruce Buffer got nothing on me. That's my son. And guess who else is my son? Scareclaw right card. Because that card is broken. We're going to bring Scareclaw to the promised land today. I'm telling you guys, Scareclaw is the best deck in the meta right now. It's the only deck that can play 20 defensive cards. Oh, uh, wait for it. Every deck can play 20 defensive cards. It's the only one that can play 20 defensive cards and OTK into Oblivion, regardless of the hand. All you need is any two, any mon any Scareclaw or any two monsters. Look at this. Celine, Axe Code, see you later. Dude, I didn't even blink. I didn't even blink. Before I had a chance to breathe in the commentary, I OTK'd. Bro, my deck is just that insane. And it's not even that I'm doing anything special. It's the fact that my deck is special. My deck deserves all the credit. What a beautiful deck. I can literally kiss my cards, except for that Drill and Lockbird. Fuck that card. I'll eat that card. I don't even know why I'm playing it. Well, probably because it skips my turn every time. So I'm like, eh, it's probably good. I should probably play it. On to game number two. Game number two, we'll see if the purely opponent can do a better uh, setup. Uh, I, I, that's definitely the wrong improve. No, I should have improved the other one. Uh, little secret, guys. Um, I, I don't know shit about purely. However, due to the fact of me simply being the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the game, in fact, I'm even better than Yugi. If me and Yugi ever dueled, uh, I would literally my biceps are bigger than his face. I'll destroy him. Uh, yeah, I just don't know how to play against purely. But you know what? I do know how to do how to. I know how to OTK. All right, that's all I need to know. Whatever my opponent's cards do, do irrelevant. I, I don't care. Yeah, you could have seven negates, five negates. I don't give it. Yeah, okay, sure. You're getting OTK. Anyway, so I'm going to draw. I have five cards, and he has a, a purely noir with seven materials. How scary. Oh my god, I'm literally quaking in my boots. Anyway, summon Fenrir. Fenrir effect is not going to add Scarecrow Kashtira. The fact that no Manadium player is, player is playing Kashtira, Fenrir, in their Manadium deck, Scareclaw deck, is, is ridiculous to me. Fenrir is going to solo this game by himself. So I summon Fenrir, I get Scarecrow right card. It's like someone vices, he wants to banish it right away. Summon another Scarecrow on the Scarecrow Kashtira. It's like he's like, oh shit, I gotta get rid of the little baby, otherwise he's gonna go into Lightheart. Guess what? The big Scarecrow also goes into Lightheart, baby. 
Fenrir literally led to Scareclaw Lightheart. Fenrir cleared two interruptions from Purely Noir. And not just clear two interruptions, it got me this whole setup so far. And what am I going to be able to do with one Scareclaw, you might wonder? Oh, Triff, yeah, but like, you already used all your cards. Like, all you have left is just like a Charmer. Like, what are you going to do with the Charmer, bro? I don't know. How about I go into Scareclaw Arrival to make an Earth Charmer? How's that sound? How about I go into the Earth? How about I enter Battle Phase, clear his monsters? I just attacked the XYZ position monster. What deck plays Earth XYZs? Purely. What attribute is Earth? Shut up, Fenrir. That got me that Scarecrow Kastira. That's right. Purely. So I'm going to also take his card. I'm going to use the card's effect to get two materials underneath it. My Zeus is about to be hella fat. And then, you want to know what else is fat? My biceps. Because I train a lot. As should you guys. If you're fat in all the wrong places and not in your biceps, you guys should literally go to the gym right this instant. After you guys go to the gym right this instant, go to tripgaming.com and get this beautiful plate mat. But before you do that, don't buy it just yet. Because if I lose at any moment, if I lose a single match in this whole Locals, I'm giving away this playmat to three different duelists that are watching this video. So stay tuned and see if I lose. So stay tuned. If I lose, the same thing is going to go for my next Locals as well. I want to make it interesting. Because guess what? Just like this, I caught my opponent up respectfully. Great guy though. I love my opponent. Uh, too bad my, my deck is just the best deck in the game. But round two is about to start eventually. Uh, I'll see you guys then. <laughs> you did well, but uh, scare clap best deck. I got clapped. Don't, don't, don't uh, stroke my ego. I did ask. You know what? I think you're the Rika goat, bro. I think maybe go back to Rika and then slap everyone with it. No, fuck that. <laughs> guys, Draco Slayer play mat is back in stock. Get your Draco Slayer mat now. Damn, bro. Draco Slayer playmat and the Beyond the Pendulum deck box. So you get now on .com for limited time only? God damn. It's actually a sexy ass playmat. Yeah, did you 2 all? That's what I thought. Don't even talk to me. You're yeah, missing some uh, big trading going on here. <laughs> Stardust for a Rice Heart. <laughs> Sounds like a fair deal. Seems pretty fair. <laughs> <laughs> Next round's about to start. Uh, the rule of today's locals: if I lose, I do a giveaway. Every time I lose, I do a giveaway. That's the rule of today's locals. Every time I lose, I do a giveaway. But I'm literally just never gonna lose. So uh, stay tuned and find out. We'll see. Yo, Stein, am I gonna lose today? Maybe once. <laughs> well, hey, maybe. We'll see if, if someone's playing a good deck. But definitely not not these bozos. So if we play, uh, loser gets other person's deck. Oh, okay, no, I don't want that. Guess your deck. What deck are you playing? The shirt off my back. What deck are you playing? I play Castle. Oh, now you can keep it. I'm facing my arch nemesis. Last time I played him, I won a play match that I gave back to him. <laughs> Alan, you can hide, but you can't run. Is that the same? You can run, but you can't hide. I rock paper scissors to see who moves. Rock, paper, scissors. Don't shoot, we're not American. Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Ah! I can't believe I lost a sacred rock, paper, scissors match. I simply got outplayed. Uh, everyone knows, hey, you gotta stick by the rules of rock, paper, scissors. If you lose the rock, paper, scissors, you gotta, you gotta honor it. And we were playing there for the winner uh, gets to stay in their seat. And I lost, so I had to go to his seat. But yeah, he's gonna open up here with uh, full Kashira combo, dimension shifter, Dimension Shifter, Dimension Shifter, Focus Share Combo, Book of Moon, and another set, and Shangri-La Field, and Field Spell for Shangri-La Pop. Ah! Anyways, uh, he locked my scales. Rude. Uh, I don't even play Pendulum, but still rude. What if I felt like putting something there? I'm going to Talents, then he's going to land to his Arise Heart. Huge play from him to protect the Arise Heart. I'm still not concerned, because I'm going to clap this shit up. Next, uh, Arise Heart is going to be forced to trigger, and then I'm going to uh, get rid of his card as soon as humanly possible. Uh, sadly, because of his field spell, he pops my Fenrir. And this is a big thing with Fenrir. Fenrir was my saving grace there. I needed it to survive because my Fenrir was going to go into my own Arise Heart because he summoned Shangri-La. Sadly, he popped it with the field spell. In every single deck you play, Scareclaw, Manadium, any single any deck you play, you need, a, you need to throw in six Fenrirs. No cap. Doesn't matter. And in your extra deck, you play Zeus and you play Arise Heart. Doesn't matter. Why? Because at least 40% of the matches you're going to face is Kishtira. And by being able to summon Fenrir, go straight to Arise, straight to Zeus, is an auto win against that deck. Especially when you have all your scare claws also lead to a Kishtira, uh, scare claw Kishtira. It, it's too crazy. So I'm going to end with about five interruptions here uh, with a lot of like defensive cards. So I don't want to overdo it. Uh, I do want to get a lot of follow-up. So I do this cool player set rotation where I Draco back. I gave him right soft. He, was, he asked me to give him right soft. I'm like, no problem. Then I was like, psych! I'll send that back to my hand. 
But yeah, I'm a man of my word, so I gave it to him just for 0 0.1 seconds though. Uh, next is going to go into Shangri-La. This is going to be an issue because uh, he'll be able to enter battle. But again, I don't really give a shit because I have twin Scarecrow, twin Slot. I also have Impermanence for the Zeus. Uh, I do a slight error here. I would consider it slight. I don't want to use any of my monster effects because he has ta he might have Talents or Thrust. Uh, twin Slot, both he summons Kashtira and enters battle. I should have Impermed the Scarecrow Kashtira in this moment because he's able to negate my Griffin and Baron. But by doing so, I play into Talents. Uh, so we'll see if it ends up being the right play. He goes into Zeus and I just Imperm it. And guess what's in his hand? Talents. He commanded me on my absolutely impeccable gameplay to play around talents and thrust, which he had in his hand. So if I use a single monster effect, I was literally clapped. This is why it's vital to end on trap interruptions and use your monsters at the effect at interruption at the very, 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 very end. This is vital. I can't stress this enough. A lot of people don't do that. It's game changing. This is why I really believe Rusty Bardish is a huge package in almost every deck. Every combo deck. Not every deck could play it. All you need is one dark. And you just take the two non-darks and barricade blocker. Instantly you make Rusty. And then your, your, your interruptions on your opponent's turn are traps. This is why uh, Manadium Reframing is also really powerful. You get in on Reframing, Twin Saw, and Double Fog Blade. That's four trap cards. Protection from Evenly. Uh, and it, all, all your opponent's cards that they decide to stop monster effects. Like... Uh, Talents, Thrust, Regeki, Dark Ruler, they're useless. They, they just decided 20 cards for nothing. Uh, here, my, as you see, my Fenrir is going to like literally solo, for, to be honest, right now. Because the Fenrir is going to be able to go into Arise. I'm, I'm going for game here. I, I, I want to go for game. I know because the Cosmic did a 7,000. Uh, I know basically everything he has left. So all I need to do is summon a, like, this 3,000. I get rid of Fenrir easy with the Rise Heart effect. I just get a few more materials on a Rise Heart. I told you guys, this is how you destroy this deck. You just sub put a rise heart in your exit. I don't, even, I don't even hard make a rise heart ever in my life. It's just there for the mirror. And with right every miss here, scare clock and and rise heart, that is game. Uh, can I ban his card? He's at seven thousand. GG. Let's go on to round three. I'm never gonna lose. We're not gonna lose two zero. Two more games to go. I, I'm trying to lose for you guys. I want you guys to get a giveaway. I want you guys to get a giveaway. I, I just can't lose. So. If you guys want to give away, you're going to have to come to Toronto and beat me yourself because I'm unbeatable right now. I think my next duel, actually, I'm going to ask because I want to do a giveaway. I'm going to ask if I can play two duels at the same time uh, during locals, one with each hand. I'll still win, especially if I play these decks. Tier Limit and uh, Trap Tricks. Trap Tricks looks like it's putting in work, though. All right, guys, next round's up. I'm facing Trap Tricks. You can watch the next five minutes of this 2 0, or you can just skip the next five minutes. We all know how it's going to go. It's going to result in an absolute slap, my friend. Let's run it. Round number three. Am I going to win the grudge match here? This is Trap Tricks versus... I don't even know what the fucking Trap Trick cards do. I, I just see a card I actually. I don't know what the heck the card do. Will the Pengobula come back from the dreaded Joel? My Griffin gets hit with Floodgate, triggering the Sarah. This looks pretty rough, but guess what? Where there's a Pendulum, there's a way. I'm not even playing Pendulum, but I'm going to put a spell card in my pen zone and it's enough. I attack, I make Baron right away because there's only thing I can do through Droll. I cleared through his whole board through Droll, Floodgate, Sarah, Vermilio, Lenina Nibiru, and, and Trap Tricks, Hulitia, in Graveyard. Sadly, clearing my Baron, but my face down card survives. Of course, he top decks into a fucking Trap Tricks. Ah! So, okay, so uh, sometimes I get angry just because of Droll. I love life. I really love it, but I hate Droll. Droll is, uh, if I ever saw Droll in the street, I would fuck Droll up. Like, I, I would actually beat Droll's ass, uh, with my fist in its face. Fucking hate Droll. What a, what a, I hate that card. That is the, the bane of my Yu-Gi-Oh existence. It follows me around everywhere. It follows me around how, how smelly garbage does to flies. I, I, I don't know what the fuck I was saying. I thought I was cooking there. I definitely was not. My kitchen burnt. Anyways, so here we're going to still see what the Trap Tricks player... Uh, there's not much I can do. My boy's going to gonna beat me here. The the Nibiru Droll, Mermilio, Sarah, Floodgate Trapple, Floodgate Trapple. There's too much of a combo. Uh, she. Uh, it was just a droll. Let's be honest. It was just a droll. It stopped me going plus 1,000. But hey, that's part of the game. I don't like complaining. I have to accept that uh, loss. I have to win two more. If I lose one of these next two games here... I got to do a giveaway. I got to give away three of these playmats. So, uh, hey, look, guys. I I don't... I, I want that to happen, but at the same time, I want to win. I'm, what am I, a loser? I don't like to lose. So, I do want to win. I like it. Hit with the draw. 
<laughs> it looks like you guys are getting playmats. Holy shit, this is very sad. I'll explain how people get the playmats. But hey, guess what? I'm never going to give up. What happens here? Fenrir. Uh, Ash, res Fenrir. I never give up. Pass turn. Pass turn. No, Joel. No, Joel. You lose. GG. That's it, buddy. I will never give up. Joel and Fuckbird. I'm going to win no matter what, bro. Doesn't matter. Game number three. Time might be a factor. So I got to gotta clear through his board uh, quickly. Like barbecue chicken. I got to stop it. I got to stop it. Because the last thing I want is to lose to Droll three times in a row. So there's no way he has it. I barely have trap trick. I'm not gonna, I don't know what trap trick card do. So I just see the first card and I just use a hand trap. It's like Master Duel uh, noobs. Uh, I have five cards and he has five interruptions. He has Sarah to bring up Mermelio. Plus get a follow up. Or I get three traps and he has three traps. I have five cards in hand. I have to deal with six negates. How the fuck am I going to do that? I go thrust for duster. That's how. Solemn judgment. Oh my god, I lose the game. Holy shit. There's no way I can come back. I have three cards left. I have three cards left and he has three interruptions left. Literally all the stats are real. Like I can't. Mermilio, my faithful, is just game. I can't do shit. I literally just can't do shit. I summon Enchantress so he gets flood game. Dude, I can't. I have one card left in hand. What the fuck? I can't. And he, has, he still has a trap card left and I have one card left in hand. And my other two are set. What can I do? I go into Alsa here and what happens? He negates and destroys it! A fact! Ah, it's Scareclaw! Normal Scareclaw! <laughs> bait it! Bait it! Bait it! Summon Scareclaw Lightheart! Get a right phobia! Ha 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 ha! Buddy, never give up, bro. Never give up. I literally baited it with my Alsa to destroy my Alsa. Because Alsa was going to summon one of his cards to banish one of his cards. And then I could have gone into Access to the Nexus. So he destroys the Alsa. Alsa, uh, in fact, add a Scareclaw. Who the fuck knows I'm playing? Who plays baby Scareclaws? I am. Access code. That's game. Because you saw a judgment hit. I OTK through five cards and had six interruptions. Let's go. That was crazy, yo. Skate off as duck. Let's go. Do you accept my bicep off? All right, let's do it. We're going to have a bicep off. We're going to have a bicep off. Oh, you win. <laughs> I can't even see the bicep. This is bigger. You're just so defined. What the hell? We'll call it a draw. <laughs> Last round, guys. I'll try and lose on purpose so you guys can get a play mat, but like, <laughs> we both know that's not gonna happen. Cause we're not gonna lose! Where's my last victim? Table one! Calvin! You guys have to understand what happened before. This is a grudge match. Because what we did before, I was saying I was gonna defeat him, and what he did was he took my deck, he spit in it, and then threw it in the garbage. And I was like, heartbroken. I actually started to cry, and then he gave me like a napkin, and he's like, wipe off the tears from your face, pussy. And I was like, whoa, that's so rude. But like, so now I have to get back my revenge. I need to get my revenge back. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Let's we'll see, let's we'll see. Is your deck better than mine? We'll find out. We'll find out. If I don't 2-0 him, I'll do a play mat giveaway anyways. 2-0. Coming right now. Let's go. That was a great match against my Chop Tricks player. Uh, that's my man's. So now let's see if, if round number four... Against my boy, let's see if it'll uh, it'll beat that. Because that last round was, was epic. That last the round we had was epic. If I win this, I win locals. If I lose this, that's three playmats for, for the chat. So let's see what happens here. Ends on a, a classic sprite board with Toad, Red, Smash, or whatever. Okay, anyways, yeah, I'm going to eat this board for breakfast. I'm actually going to make this board... Uh, <laughs> that is going to be quick. Summon Griffin. All I need is a Scareclaw, which Fenrir got me. I still, for the life of me, don't understand why Manadian players do not play full Fenrir package because it literally gets the combo. It's not only is Fenrir a defensive card. Like, Fenrir was an incredible defensive card for me there. Like, people play cards like Dark Ruler, Lightning Storm, uh, Baylor, or whatever the fuck. Nonsense, bullshit hand traps. Fenrir does more than any hand trap in the game by itself, except for Droll and Shifter and shit like that. Uh, but way better than, like, Baylor, Warner, or whatever. Uh... On top of that, it gets you your engine after it stops the opponent. Like, it's actually just a ridiculous card. Uh, it gets the whole Scareclaw engine going. And all you need is one Scareclaw engine. The Scareclaw engine is what wins. Because the Scareclaw engine is uh, the be-all, end-all. I have five cards in hand. My opponent only has a Toad and a Carrot and a card in hand. Uh, I summon, he instantly destroys it. I bait him. I don't summon my Fenrir yet. I knew he was going to stop it. Otherwise, he was going to get cooked. So he, he negated my, my right card. Uh... Uh, which or yeah, he negated my card and he said it. My uh, which is my plan all along because I need this play to resolve. Uh, next, I'm gonna summon these two out. I look at his graveyard for some charmer plays. I, I think I should enter battle first. That way he can't negate one of my spells, uh, which I did and uh, which I'm about to. And I don't have the best hand. I, I did brick a little bit, but it's still enough. I go into charmer. Sorry for the glare there. I go charmer to take his Reprodocus to go Daxus. I just try and clear my field. 
to summon Fenrir. I set rotation all along. I just wanted to set all this up for the very end. So I cleared all this shit just so I could summon Fenrir with a, a hand trap, a follow up. I know my opponent has nothing because I know his entire hand. So unless he top decks something, uh, I win the game. Uh, I have follow up in my hand and I have Fenrir. This is plenty uh, to win the game. Sometimes you have to play it kind of slow because you know what your opponent's on. And uh, after he goes that, like he can't do anything because of Fenrir. It's going to be enough to stop it. Fenrir, if I banish, he's going to skip to me and I'm going to OTK easily. I'm, oh, not OTK. I'm going to kill him on my, my next turn easily. So uh, that's game. We win locals. No play match for you guys, sadly, because we won. But next locals, I'm going to do the exact same thing. If I lose a single match at locals for my next vlog, I'm going to be giving away three play mats. And I'm going to continue doing this until I lose. Let's see if anyone in the world could dethrone me. Surprise, they can. Yo, guys. Oh, one sec. Someone's calling. Hello? What we got today, boys? All right. Nothing. Let's go. Damn, you smell good. They smell like victory because I won them. We ended up winning locals, obviously, as I told you guys. We got the packs afterwards. They're pretty dog shit. We did get a secret and an ultra, but they were doo-doo. And you know, I, I just want to open it for shits and giggles. I love opening packs. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing another locals. And if I, if anyone beats me, we're going to do a giveaway again. This time, no giveaway. No one beat me. We're going to do another one tomorrow. So hope you guys enjoy this style of video. Uh, I love going to locals. It's always fun. Uh, undefeated with Scareclaw. I also lost every single dice roll, but... I mean, Scareclaw, best deck. I think my favorite match of the day was round three when I OTK'd versus in game three against uh, set six or seven negate trap trick. And they were real negates. We're talking about like, Solemn Judgment, double floodgate trap holes, uh, Mermilio popping my faithful adventure, uh, banishing one of my cards. There was a lot of interruption. And we still uh, went out on top and won. Uh, as you could tell, Scareclaw is just fucking ridiculously powerful thanks to the Charmers. Seriously, next level. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.